All right, special guest back here. You guys know him, Dominic Fonte, here with us to talk about the housing market houses. Who's buying? Who's selling right now out there? Who's got questions or who just needs to be educated? That's why Dominic's in here with us yet again. Dominic, yeah. how are we doing today? We're doing great, uh, Kristen. How are you guys doing today? We're doing all right. We're you know we're just talking about all the hard hitting subjects like you listened to <laughs> like parts earlier. You know, I know I wanted to talk about your wife why she's mad at you. <laughs> why, always, yeah, always. <laughs> Usually because of that or dinner things like that or my picky eating. Oh my! That can make her very very yeah. upset. You know what? It happens. You got Jake. You had no fight at PetSmart. That's fine. I just mock my husband. You just mock your husband behind, behind his, his, back, his back so that it he makes know. me feel better, and then we just let it go. <laughs> you that, know. That is how you do it. So, so let's let's talk about the housing market right now in, in Stark County. How, well, if you could give like a synopsis, a summary, if you will, how would you say things are right now? I think it's normalizing a little bit compared to you know the last three years. Um, you're going to see uh, it's still favoring the sellers, so it's location, condition, and price. So of course, if it's priced realistically in good condition, you're still seeing multiple offers, not quite as many as before. So the market's definitely heated up. I say we have about a couple months inventory locally and about three months inventory nationally, which equates to the seller's market. In order to get the buyers where they get kinds of good deals, like uh, you want to see the inventory five in a month, and we're still off from that. Okay. So, like, right now, and you, you don't know where to start or what to do, like, if you're looking, like, what what are the things you should be looking for? Do you know what I mean? Does that make? I know it's a broad question, but like, I know. what are some of the things about? Okay, we want a house. We got to get a house. Like, what are some of the things you should take into consideration? In like, your preference? so I would say, with the professional, yeah, there's a lot of real estate agents out there. Make sure to check them out. Um, if you want to talk to me personally, I've been doing this for 35 years. Helped over 2,500 families go through the process. It's a little intimidating if you don't do it every day, which of course, most people don't. So I would say the first thing would be a consultation, like have a chat uh, with someone competent and just kind of like brainstorm a little bit about what your thoughts and wishes are, what your perceptions are, and then get educated. Because I always say an informed uh, person, you know, if you're educated and informed, you're a happy decision. Yeah. I definitely think that that's true. So and- meet with someone or call me, uh, but definitely have a chat before you do anything. Some people put the cart before the horse. You want to make sure you do it in a step. It's actually the steps through the whole process from start to finish. The process runs about 35 days. And unless it's cash, it's still paper. Gotcha. Okay. How many of those, we still got a lot of cash buyers out there. We talked about it earlier, but when we were talking about you coming on today, we we're asking, like, thinking about how many cash buyers are still out there? Because, I mean, they kind of, they kind of can cut the line a little bit, can't they still? Yes. Uh, you know, obviously, if you have three offers on the table and you're a seller looking at the three offers and one's cash and it meets all the, you know, all the bullet points and checkoffs you have, right. uh, then that's going to be favorable to you. I would say probably you're still hovering about 30 percent of the buying market is cash. And I would say this year, particularly in 2023, here we are, you know, past halfway point. Uh, we're still seeing a lot of movement in the 58 year old and older with the boomers. Uh, you know, they're moving, relocating, selling. They have funds um, a little slower uh, in the 30-something because the interest rate takes it higher. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Well, they can have a lot of people that are older, too. They, they want to downsize. You know what I mean? The, well, the or kids one are out of the story. House. Yeah. yeah. Kids are out of the kind house. Kind of buying that retirement home situation. First floor master. That's yes. the key. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, I had a ranch house. I love it. We yeah. have a ranch house. I do love I it. Love Can I tell you though, it's awful because if we go to my mom's house, but she has a second story and stuff, and I'm like running up the steps, I'm like, "Dang, those that second story keeps you in shape." <laughs> like I'm like, "This is where yeah. I'd be out because I'm used to one floor." So I know it's, there's a shortage of first floor living. That's- yeah. It, can you make right now a little more money on, on like a ranch style house or a one floor house right now than you could with with like you know a two two story? I would just say it's supply and demand, and there's no supply, limited supply, first floor, master demand. Now, of course, if you have a 1960, 55 to 60 ranch, you know, you still have the situation where you have laundry in the basement. So, you know, people are, when they're transitioning, they want to think about laundry on the first floor. So you sometimes have to retrofit a room or a closet. And, you know, so yes, there's big demand, and you will get a premium. 
Okay. Talking to Dominic Ponte. Uh, Dominic, you know something I, I, I do? I check around uh, the housing market both here and in like Mahoning and Trumbull County a little bit because where I'm at right now. But uh, one thing I'm seeing a little bit that's more when I look at these pictures and stuff, are, and maybe I'm crazy, but are you seeing an increase in people that I think it, it appears bought houses, we're going to flip them and then just said, screw it, they're putting them on the market as is? Uh, Does that make any sense? Yes. Uh, they call it wholesale. So, okay. So what happened was, if you regress a moment back when we had 10, 12 months of inventory, which would have been probably, I would say, 08 to 13, that's when everybody piled into the market uh, to do the flips. And right. then when the market tightened up, uh, the people kind of waned away. And then now they're paying a premium for these houses that need work. And then by the time they see what the supply, demand, logistic cost, and so forth, they say, you know what, I'm just going to wholesale to somebody else. Maybe it'll be a dad helping a kid, you know, spending money and then mm -hmm. your son or daughter would move into it. Uh, so I see that and they call that wholesaling. They just put a few bucks in their pocket instead of flipping it, retailing it. They just send it over to another investor or someone that would be like you, Christian, buying it for your, your baby in yeah. anticipation for college and use it as rental until the kid's old enough to uh, buy it off you. Yeah, no, that's really cool. We just had a comment on Facebook come in, Amber. She said, I just recently purchased our first home, Zev Ron. Oh yeah, Zev works yeah. on my team. Zev's yeah. awesome. There you go. Yeah, she said it was a great experience. So. Yeah, thank you so much for working with me and my team. Uh, we we honestly we've helped twenty five hundred people, and and she can attest that the experience with working with us is stellar because it is a little bit stressful and very emotional and very costly. Yeah. So absolutely. you don't want to screw it up. So you don't want to be the guinea pig. That's yeah, sure. it's definitely a Thank huge you. purchase. If anybody has any questions for Dom, you can send them in. 330-269-9292. I think that's one of the cool things about you and your team, Dom, is that no pressure salesmanship, nothing like that. You want to help these people. You and your team want to get these people in a home that fits their budget. You know what I mean? But it makes sense for them, too, and doesn't put them in, in, a, in a future rut financially because you know, not, not everyone does that. I agree. I think you know it's not only... Uh, just because I'm in real estate, to buy or sell. There's many times they've talked people out of buying or selling because they're buying it emotional, not logical. So there's a little process I run them through to help them make an informed decision. So you're, you're kind of that voice of reason on their shoulder. You, you're not going to guide them into a, nope. a situation you feel is going to be risky or harmful. My team, the way I trained up on the team is, you know, you give 110%, put the customer needs ahead of yours no matter what when it comes to making the right decision. No matter how bad you need the money, no matter how bad you need the sale, it's all about what's best interest of the customer. Because at the end of the day, if you do what's right for the customer, right, and they realize what you really did to help them, they'll tell 10 people anyhow. So, you know, it, it always comes back to you when you do the right thing. Yeah, 100%. Talking to Dominic Conte here on the station. Again, like you said, if you've got any questions for him, things you want to talk about or want us to talk about with him, 330-269-9292. Or leave the comments on Facebook. YouTube and Twitter. Right now, let's walk the moon, shut up, and dance right here on Q92. And uh, I'll, let's talk about the elephant in the room right now, Dominic. You know, the interest, oh, interest rates. Interest rates. I mean, it, it's to some people, it's darn near frightening. Absolutely. And, and, and but we were talking off here. I think a lot of people don't, they understand the where the interest rate is right now, but I don't think they really understand that that doesn't mean you don't have options. Correct. Well, so think of it like this. Okay, the two of you own homes, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lauren, what's your interest rate? I think three point five. Okay. I my, Christian, uh, my, I moved in with the uh, with the fiance. It's about, it's about six. Okay, about so six, you're at six, six right? There's, yeah. Well, yeah. when the Fed made the adjustment, twenty five basis points the last time, I think the way it works now is is the lenders that make home loans, right? Fred, Jenny Mac, yeah. or Jenny Mac, Freddie Fannie, Jenny Mac. So they're basically where all the loans get sold. So there's FHA, VA, which is Ginny May, Freddie Mac, and Fannie Mae, which is conventional loans. Mm -hmm. So the majority of the loans are all sold to that quasi entity, right? Yeah. And so they bake in the higher rates right out of the gate. So right now they were hovering about seven and an eighth, seven and a quarter, which when you think of 3% for many years, pretty overwhelming. Mind that you always look at so like even if it was like three percent, three and a quarter, it's like five dollars per thousand. So now it's a dollar eighty-two more per thousand. Ooh. So so like you know if it's hundred k loan amount, 
hundred thousand loan amount. You know, so that's what scares people trying to figure out can I afford it? Right. And then also the other thing is is like what percentage of my gross income should be allocated to my house payment so that I can get a piece of a while, maybe go out to dinner. Right. Not know? we don't want to be house. Yeah, and no, that's, you don't. that's the big thing that I hear, guys. So I would say, you know, look at like 30% as a baseline. Try to stay around 30%, 28 to 30% uh, housing expense, right? But I'd say what a lot of people aren't aware of, there's special loan programs out there that you want to be aware of. Now, you can always reach out to me at 330-418-1535. And we can discuss what options. And I'll give you a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. Okay. So there's what's called the USDA loan. Right, uh, it's not a steak. It's not or beef. Hamburger. We're not talking about beef. We're not talking about beef. <laughs> We're talking about a loan, and it's kind of there's a map, and and you have to kind of look on a map, it's a zip code map setting, and it's usually more of a rural type setting. And these are like you need down loan, where you know if you're doing an owner occupied, and you live there for a period of time. I mean, what happens is if you jump into the game, so you can actually get into these houses with limited down payment for special programs. USDA is one, FHA is one, that's three and a half percent down. Sure. Down payment is what we're talking about. And the rates are very competitive. And then also there's a veteran, if you're a veteran, uh, you know, that's a zero yeah, down. Yep. And then and in each area, the banks have to offer special programs for community loans or different, they're called different things. Okay. And so based on income and how many people are in your household, uh, you know, you qualify. And this is without private mortgage insurance. You know, like if you don't put 20% uh, down, a lot of people have to pay, they call it MI, mortgage insurance premium. Yeah, or maybe you have a little bit of a dicey credit situation and right. they're taking a risk on you. You got to pay that I, I mafia money. Yes. Mafia money. <laughs> yeah. money. So you pay this money. It doesn't really go towards anything. Like with the default, they they have then, money to pull from, yeah, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yep. So, so you want to know the, kind of the, how to maneuver through, kind of like being a stream of water and, and, you know, there's a stick on the side and you try to grab it to stop yourself. It's just you need to know where the sticks are to grab yourself, and the stick would be reaching out to a professional. Right. You know, that's how you really find out well, what the programs are. And because you guys are so knowledgeable with the type of programs that exist, you know, just a consultation with you, you know, a 20-minute conversation gives you a pretty good idea of Absolutely. where they need to be. And, and that's really why step one of the 15-step process is having a conversation. Absolutely. And don't get pre-approved yet. Let's have a conversation. Oh, don't. Listen, guys. 20 years ago when we started <laughs> looking, I made the fatal error of going on, like figuring Dot out. Com. It was, um, oh my gosh, you would know it if I said it. But anyhow, basically, I put in the information of what we were looking for. I then had 25 plus people calling me oh. trying to get me Don't to go put there, a mortgage through them. Don't do not there. do it. Hey, it there's is awful. A, you know what? There's the Zillow, really, Realtor.com. These systems, like a big old mousetrap, these are geared to generate lead generation if you go to any of these sites click on anything you're going to have a ton of people contact you i promise you the best thing to do is word of mouth go to the proven professional yeah and if you want to double check them go to their website check out their reviews and if they check out with you and you have a good check reach out to them reach out to me reach out to my team yeah absolutely and uh if you have any more questions or you want to reach out you can also go to dom What's my house worth .com. I love that URL. It, work, it works really well. I have great success with it. People love it because it's not a big hassle. It happens quickly. And they get a lot of information yeah, on, on their surrounding property value. Yeah. yeah. Well, you do, and you don't get blown up with phone calls and all that. That's like that. It's all, hey, that's, that's yeah. what's great. It's truly informative. Yeah, I don't want to bother anybody. If you need my help, I'll help. If you don't need it, trust me. I'm busy enough the way it is, but I'm here to help. I'm here to introduce you to make the right decision. Never look back and wish you would have done it a different way. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dominic, for coming in. Again, you can get a hold of Dominic by calling or texting him at 330-418-1535, or you can visit domwithmyhouseworth.com. Or go to dominicfonte.com to see my more than 430 five-star reviews to see what you'll experience working with me and my team. Ooh, grab a cup of coffee because that's a lot of great review. He will help you out. He will get you where you need to be and he won't put you in a bad position. Dominic Fonte, always a pleasure. Thank yes, you for thank stopping you. in and chatting with us. We appreciate it. Have a great week.